early warning weather alert. We're about to put a fork in it because the heavy rain is out of here. So I'm happy to report that. We certainly saw a lot of rainfall all day today, and those bands of really heavy precipitation certainly aggravated the flooding situation. Now we do have that heavier rain is now east of the state. We have no more flash flood warnings, but we still have a little bit of rain out there, but we can handle this. So light precipitation, I-91 and points eastward. It does ramp up the farther east you go, and we still have a flood warning, aerial flood warning across the northeast part of Wyndham County. So careful out there, even though the rain is kind of coming to an end, doesn't mean you can't experience, you know, flooding, a counter, a flooded or washed out roadway from, you know, earlier. Old Saybrook, well, you're seeing light precipitation. We'll take some light rain. It's a little dreary out there, but at least we can get out now, run some errands, things that, you know, we had to hold off doing until things kind of calm down and calming down is exactly what's going to happen the rest of this evening and tonight. So the heavy rain is is gone. A few lingering showers. There's through 8 o'clock as we progress through tonight. Indications of a few pop-ups. I'm not too concerned about them. Uh, we're not going to be seeing widespread heavy rain. That's the key. And the sunshine will be taking over tomorrow. So looking forward to that. Additional rainfall. This continues to update. If we do get a passing shower, you might get a quick half an inch. But we're not talking about several inches of rainfall. So that's why we're thinking that, you know, alert can be dropped. The alert for river flooding, though, that's certainly going to be up. We have several rivers now dealing with flooding. So river flood warnings for the Housatonic, Farmington, Connecticut, and the Quinnebog. So several warnings there, and they, they're not going to go away anytime soon. All that runoff is happening. So careful near creeks and streams as well. 77 in Hartford. We have, again, just a few showers coming on through. I do think that chance for rain is very limited the rest of tonight. Temperatures falling back into the low 70s, going from those upper 70s to the low 70s. New Haven, live view. Well, that cloud deck has certainly arisen. So, you know, you might see just a few showers. Otherwise, it's just mostly cloudy. We're falling back again into the mid 70s and then when we get to tomorrow morning probably around 71 degrees New Haven 71 in Hartford few spots in the upper 60s otherwise we're just uh, mostly cloudy with a few showers early on we love that icon the sunny one it's back with us tomorrow and we're going to be enjoying uh, some uh, warm temperatures too it's still going to be a little muggy low 90s for highs and upper 80s across the board and we continue to lose a little bit of daylight every day. I am sad always updating the sunrise and sunset because it's trimming away our time outdoors, right? All right, the early warning seven day forecast features the muggy conditions to start the week. We do have another chance for rain and storms coming with a cold front on Tuesday. Not the kind of coverage we saw today, but we'll watch that for you. Then a little bit more comfort in the air, a little drier, those highs in the mid 80s instead of upper 80s, lows in the mid 60s instead of near 70 and low 80s to end the week going into next weekend with some showers, a few thunderstorms, uh, nothing too extreme out there. And uh, those shoreline temperatures will be warmer the next couple of days and then they'll fall back into the low 80s as well. That's your early warning seven day forecast. All right. Thank